It's just a great regatta again, designed by yachties, for yachties, from a yacht club, and it's back up there now, being one of the, the regattas of the world. We have two headline acts for you in our story today. Steel Pulse, which rocked the island in a Nelson's Dockyard set that had everyone buzzing, and a foiling racer cruising cat, which is a direct ripple of America's Cup technology and influence out into the wider world of sailing. Designed specifically for Antigua Sailing Week, here's a taste of the thrilling ride aboard Gunboat's new G4 foiler. The G4 Timbalero is owned by Eduardo Perez, a three-time winner of Antigua Sailing Week and crewed by friends and a few hot shots. Gunboat's Peter Johnston and America's Cup winning crewman Shannon Falcone of Antigua tell us more about the boat, the ride and that incredible shakedown cap size in St. Bart's. We pushed the hell out of the boat. That was a 30 knot <laughs> run. Whew. And we found the limit. And it's all part of the learning curve. Um, and I think if people you know, don't do that and push the limits in certain respects, you'll never reach a product that you know, people can enjoy and, and go cruising around the Caribbean with. First off, you're going upwind, and we're doing somewhere between 12 and 15 knots upwind on a 40-footer. That's ridiculous. It's really quick, and you're sailing past TP-52s like they're standing still. My simple piece of advice was go fast, let the foils do the work, and you know, now we're sailing the boat upwind at 13, 13, 5. Uh, the G4 really takes concepts from the America's Cup, but puts them into a commercially viable package. And this is really the ultimate test for the whole foil package, and it's performed brilliantly. I think it's really been a pleasant surprise that you don't need flat water to foil. You can foil in anything if your configuration is right. In the Cup, we have a lot of smart minds, and I hope to impart just a small percentage of that to these guys so that you know they can sail the boat safer, faster, and have more fun. For the rest of the fleet on race day three, the wind kicked in again to provide another perfect day's racing off Antigua. We'll get into the best performance on the final two days of racing, plus a bit of lay day fun all to come. But let's finish our story today with an iconic reggae band that drew all the sailors and what seemed like half the Antiguan population to jam out together for a very big night indeed, Steel Pulse. I can't go, life without 